This is Tra Star Wars Transformers Crossovers Clone Trooper slash Captain Rex ATTE. Uh, very interesting figure. It's, uh, in my opinion, perhaps one of the best uh, figures in his wave of, of re releases and repackaging. Uh, I call him Captain Rex because in some packaging, older packaging, he, he is Captain Rex and ATTE. Uh, in the more recent packaging, he is a, just a clone trooper. But if you look closely, just basing it on the head sculpt and the and the crest on him, this guy, I think, is the mech of Captain Rex. Um, I mean, he doesn't have the uh, the the these uh, waist capes, um, but just just look at the head sculpt. The painted eyebrows on his helmet is identical or similar to these ones. Uh, he's got this antenna, this commander, uh, the captain's helmet antenna, I think. Uh, he's got it right here, a little bit. Just it's a mold, it's molded in. Um, he's got this plume, just like that, in in the Captain Rex figure. Um, yeah, I think this guy could pass for Captain Rex, uh, given that he does have this uh, crest this asymmetrical crest on him just like uh, this figure has so yeah okay uh, very very interesting bot mode um, I really like the proportions on this one uh, let me just straighten them up for you just a tad bit uh, he's got good articulation um, His feet, his legs are highly articulated. They go forward and backward. They go in and out. They rotate at the thigh, and they bend at the knee. The toes bend as well because of transformation, and lots of ratchet joints. Ratchet joint knee, rat knee, ratchet joint hips. Um, you can get him into a lot of decent poses. He's got waist articulation, a little bit of a ball joint on the upper torso. Um, he's got. Artic heavily articulated arms that go in and out, forward and backward, 360. They go 360 at the elbow and they bend forward and backward. No wrist articulation. Head just rotates 360 if you wanted to. So all in all, it's a decent, decent uh, bot mode. Um, not the best bot mode among the crossovers, but definitely a, a good one, a worthy uh, bot mode for display. Uh, he's got a gun, which also becomes the uh, tank turret uh, of the ATT that fires a missile once you push this button. And the whole barrel of the gun, and the whole barrel of the gun is gone. Um, just stand him up again. Um, yeah. You can still see the seat of the ATT. For those of you who already have the ATT, um, this is a fair. This figure has a fairly representative um, alt mode to the ATT. Uh, you get a lot of kibble here and there. Uh, oops, got some stress marks right here. Um, yeah, you you get some here. Uh, because of the legs. The legs don't completely fold in. Same here at the back. He's got this shell for a back and his arm still has the front. Uh, because his arms form the middle legs, they still have the, the feet, the ATT's feet. But other than that, this guy is pretty awesome. I especially like the arm sculpts. Uh, they're very, very loose. They're very, they got good lines. I mean, they're very human-like or humanoid-like looking. There's a lot of curves. Um, the legs aren't that bad, I mean, except for all these kibble here and there. They're pretty okay, I guess. Um, and uh, if you fold the back properly, you know, he could really blend in with the figure. Uh, without the back piece, let me see. I mean, he can, he can live without the back piece. He'll be a good trooper. So anyway very very interesting figure I'm, I'm very happy with this one you can get him to a into a lot of serious poses not 
very much unlike the other previous um, uh, crossover figures that you could hardly get them into poses because of the lack of articulation. Uh, let me just put him to the side so I can show you the packaging. Um, here is the new packaging for the crossover figures, just like the uh, just like the the new uh, carded figures. The this is the new carded design of the packaging of the crossover. It's a lot better, I think. It's got the red stylized cover um, uh, logo at the back. It's like a galaxy explosion, and you get to see the same logo of the Transformers crossovers. In this wave, you get the Magna Guard, uh, Ahsoka, Luke Skywalker, and Darth Vader. You get, it's not included here, also a repaint of Ahsoka Tano, which is uh, uh, Anakin. Um, I'm, I haven't decided where I'm going to get these other two, but uh, the Ahsoka is very tempting. Anyway, let's get rid of this packaging. Okay, let's transform him. Get into one last 360 before we transform him into his alt mode. That's a very simple transformation, actually. I was a bit surprised. I thought there would be more to it. Um, you collapse the head down, just like that. Fold up the shell on his back. Um, straighten the legs. Oh, okay. Yeah, you don't have to bend it. Yeah, so just straighten the thighs. Okay. Um, Fold the feet inward and fold the heel spurs inward. They can be very difficult to remove. You might need a tool to just pry them open, but uh, once you get used to it, it'll be easy. And then just fold the feet backwards like a G1 transformer. Uh, join the feet together. Extend the legs. You get to see the ATCE forming. Uh, okay, and then fold the arms inward. Okay, bend the elbows and then collapse the forearms. Rotate the feet of the ATT walker. Uh, fold this, this front part. And just fix the guns. Okay. Now, okay, let me just stand him up. Okay. You can adjust the middle legs to compensate for the hind and front legs. Now the hind and front legs, um, they don't actually articulate that much. They only have one joint right here in the top joint. The other joints don't really move. So there you have him. Um, Captain Rex, or the clone trooper, in his alt mode. ATTE walker tank. Uh, you can put the uh, gun turret on top. And it's very much like uh, the actual ATTE. This is probably as close as I'm going to get to a real ATTE. Um, because right now the big ATT is just so expensive out here. Um, it's good. You you can't really get all the feet into a lot of poses, but you know you can even dis you can display this figure in his ATT mode. Very nice. It's got a lot of detailing. What what the bot mode lacks in paint apps and detailing, the ATT mode more than makes up for it. He even has transparent. Uh, uh, plastic here to form the windows of the cockpit. Uh, very nice. Nothing opens, just that the guns are on ball joints. He's got three pairs of guns on ball joints. As again, as I said, the limited joints of the front and front and rear feet and the super flexible articulated uh, middle feet, which can really compensate for it. So there you have it. Um, the Clone Trooper Captain Rex uh, ATTE uh, Star Wars Transformers crossovers. It's just a wonderful figure. Um, I highly recommend this one. If you didn't like the Marvel figures and you're into Star Wars, this is really a, a figure you might want to consider picking up. So thanks for watching.